How are we doing today, guys? Sam, back with you guys here at Anglers. It's a really cool time of the year. Um, of course, with the striped bass closure, we've had a lot of folks headed down towards the ocean trying to do a little bit different fishing. And one of the greatest things that we have down towards Ocean City is the flounder fishing in the back bays, as well as those inshore uh, reefs just a few miles out. So there's a lot of different options for you. I'm going to go over a few of the different things you can use both from shore and from boat down at Ocean City Fish in the Back Bays. So there's a bunch of stuff in front of you. Um, there's about three or two or three different rigs we're gonna talk about today. A couple of them you can certainly do from shore and a couple of them you can um, just have great success on the boat with. So the first thing I wanna talk about is rods because that's gonna be one of the most important things. So this is a good option for you. It's a really affordable rod. This is the Sapphire from Tsunami. What we're typically looking for is something in that six to seven foot range in a medium heavy to more closer to a heavy action. Now you might think flounder on a very hard fighting fish, why would you need a heavy action rod or a medium heavy? It's not for the size of the fish we're catching, it's for the weight we use back there. Those back base behind Ocean City, the current can really start to rip, especially if you're fishing off of a boat in some of those heavier channels like the East Channel over there. It can really get moving pretty well, so you need something more so for the weight. So this is a good option here, pretty affordable one. If you're looking for a combo, this here is one we put together on closeout. This is a little Talavera inshore with a neck save. Good outfit for you guys. Uh, really good price point there, and that'll do the trick for you. If you're fishing from a boat, something in that six to seven foot range. If you're fishing from shore, anything from seven to eight foot is really what you're looking for. So the first rig I wanna talk about, and the one that I use the most, is gonna be the bucktail rig, because that's something I can do either from shore or from a boat. The most important thing to keep in mind with the bucktail rig is the bucktail itself. The weight of that is very, very critical. You have to be able to maintain contact with the bottom. Whether you're drifting out on the boat, which we typically do, or if you're casting and retrieving, that current there is really strong. So right here I have an ounce and a half. This is a Mustad bucktail. Um, that's a really good option for you. We carry these all the way up to three ounce. If you're drifting out on the boat, you're probably going to need two to two and a half, three ounces most of the time. From shore, you're fishing a little bit shallower water. You can often get away with a lighter bucktail. So we're gonna take this bucktail and we rig these here at the shop. These are little inshore flounder rigs for your bucktails. And this is a super simple rig. What you have is a swivel up top here. Then you have a little dropper loop that comes to a four aught bait holder hook. And then right on the bottom we have a loop. And the reason we do a loop here is so you can quickly interchange your bucktail. You don't have to tie it all the time. So with that, I'll just take the bucktail, go through that eye there wrap it around, pull it tight, and there's our rig. And it's super simple. If you want to put on a two, two and a half, three ounce bucktail, you can certainly change that out. So typically, as far as bait goes, Gulp is going to be the most popular. These Gulp Alive, the four inch swimming mullet is without a doubt the best sellers. Another good option for you, especially if the current's not moving very much, is these shrimps. Um, really good bait here, especially in the shallows. And as far as colors go, the three colors I have here, sartreuse, white, and pink, are going to be kind of your mainstays down there. So those are always a good thing to keep in mind. So how we work this is work it close to the bottom, whether you're casting or retrieving, and just jig it a little bit. Some people do a, a sharper jig, some people do a really short jig, but just work that towards the bottom and really get some action going. The next rig I want to talk about is more of a drift rig. This is something you're certainly going to be doing from the boat. This is made by a local manufacturer down in Ocean City. This is their deadly double rig. Looks complicated, but I promise you it's not. So, what we have here is essentially a really long high-low rig. You have a spot here where you're gonna put your sinker on, place the tire line up top here, and then you have these teasers that come off, and you can tip these with gulp or tip it with a minnow is a really good option, and you're just basically drifting that along the bottom, making sure you have bottom contact out there. So that's a really good rig from the boat, probably your most popular. Um, so we talked about minnows there. Minnows are a fabulous bait for them. However, if you're truly looking for that huge doormat flounder in shore, a lot of folks are going to start live lining some other baits, like cast netting little peanut, peanut bunker or mullets, or even um, catching some small spot, just like we do up here in the bay, some three and four inch spot. A good rig for that would be a traditional fish finder rig. So this is the hook we usually use for them. We have these pre-leader. This is a four rock kale hook. Perfect for flounder. You could also use like an octopus hook from Gamagatsu or something like that. And then you'd rig a traditional fish finder rig, which we have tons of videos on with a little sinker slide and a swivel like this. And you could go ahead and rig that up, tip your bait, put that on the bottom, whether you're drifting or if you're from shore, you could certainly do both of those. So those are just a few techniques for you guys that are down towards the ocean and uh, best of luck. Thanks.